Light Princess. Shining Brightly. It is a wonderful day for shining brightly and sharing the beautiful loving energy we possess. For some, it may seem hard to muster at the moment, but somewhere in your vicinity, you will sense the loving energy being sent your way. This is a somewhat different story we were living a few years ago, and when we do look where we are today, what an incredible story to share with the world, we are not alone in this world. There are millions and millions who are in a completely new paradigm, and one that defies the image of normality. The planet is connected in a way that science cannot explain, but it does not mean it is not happening or not real. Each of us has a path and truth to live, and for me in particular, there is no alternative way forward. Not so many years ago I landed in a strange city and country, and put my trust in a few people, this lead to many unique encounters with different cultures, ethics, religion and working practices. For most of the time I was flying by the seat of my pants, and able to witness some incredible situations and things. But, in saying all of this, my own soul was trying to pull me away from the situation I was in, to highlight certain life lessons. There were aspects of me that came out, some I had never encountered before in my life. A level of anger and frustration, especially with the red tape and processes. An increased level of knowing that something was not right, and a love so deep it rocked my whole world. Experiencing levels of ecstasy and pleasure that I can only refer to as out of this world. During all of this, the ego mind kept appearing to play games with me. Having the ability to interact with one's past without being triggered is a great skill. In my opinion, it demonstrates how we have healed an area that once affected our day-to-day -day living. It is very easy to say let it go and simply close the door on it and hope it never comes back again. In my own life experience, there is a common thread of the past coming back to haunt, despite having spent years of believing I had dealt with the issues. When the cold hard light of day clearly showed I had only scratched the surface, sudden life changes. Perhaps it takes a certain level of maturity, or an incredible amount of pain slash trauma for us to finally figure out there is more to heal. More often than not we tend to reach a happy place especially after a major life-changing event, some say time is a great healer. I am of the belief that time cannot heal what is within the mind, body, or soul. There is only one that can agree and decide to process properly all the unfinished business, our own self. One can never be prepared for sudden life-changing events, in some cases, we have the ability to factor certain things in our life. We set about our life, believing the events we plan are going to happen in the way we want them to. Then all of a sudden a curve ball hits us, and usually at the most inopportune moment. So with all the planning in the world, it never actually really works that way, except hold on one moment. We always try to make things happen in our daily lives, don't we? In August 2014 a whole series of events occurred that one can say were meant to deliver a very firm message. Stop now and get your shit together. And did I listen? I had no choice there was no other answer or solution. The series of events is something I had not planned or even contemplated could or would happen. But they did. We are not in control of anything, despite our belief to the contrary. Our sole driving force. When we are faced with a blank wall, or a completely empty life as if all that we love disappears there is only one way to go forward. It all begins with us, and a few very select people who will help guide. Those that have gone through the darkest hours, within and without, always have something shining within. Our soul is the driving force, as we slowly begin to rise above and transcend the experiences, we are truly in another dimension. It is part of the healing process, which fundamentally includes the past experiences. Unfortunately, most modern-day teachers slash healers and counselors tend to want to close the door on the past and claim this is where it stays. What they really fail to understand is that we need to have a relationship with the past, it is not something we can dispose of. Many of us have tried this tactic, and yet we still have the past life curve balls in our face. Psychology and spirituality should take a closer look at each other and become friends, not adversaries. Some of the greatest psychologists were very spiritual. And outspoken against the old school brigade, our past experiences form the basis of who we are in the here and now. Surely it makes so much more sense to embrace our former self and that of others. Each encounter from life is one that is unique for us, 
and another person if involved. What we choose to learn will serve us on our life journey. When we recognize the bigger picture of life we can see the Prince, SS, S of love and light shining brightly all over the world. What we have experienced has a purpose on a much grander scale, so that we may guide others through when needed, self-belief. Whether others believe or support our beliefs today is not important. What we believe ourselves is of paramount importance. Right now we are moving ahead in our own power, truth and trusting fully in all that we are. There are no coincidences in life, what everyone encounters is part of their unique path with or without others alongside us. Now we are transformed, we are no longer the same being, when we embrace the past, there is no judgment or pain, there is just a memory that has no stigma attached to it. Others will avoid us because they still have not made peace with themselves internally. They are afraid to look at the past. They continue to judge based on an old image that they have in their mind which will continue until they reach the place we are at today. We will continue hold space and unconditional love, and welcome all that comes our way, including those who touched our heart and soul in profound ways, my princess of light still shines brightly in my life, her essence is with me always, it is something I feel and sense every day in a real way. I don't know what awaits in the future, it is not for me to know. This is an energy of pure unconditional love as well as a bright shining light for others to follow should they wish. Wherever the path takes me, I embrace it fully, without fear or desire to know why it is happening. Call me crazy, but say la vie, wherever the path takes me, I embrace it fully, without fear or desire to know why it is happening.